All right, so the elves died a sad death today. Unfortunately, it looks like it could be irreparable damage. Um, so hopefully we'll be getting some insurance payout. Uh, I've insured the elves for £6,000, but there's a couple other things that um, I can probably sell that are related to rim breaks. So basically, I have like 6 or 7 k maybe more. I could go more if I really want to. It depends how much of uh, money I want to spend on a bike um, to, to find a bike for me. Now, I decided we're going to bin off rim brakes. We're going to go full on disc, you know, electronic gearing, all the be best stuff and just see if it's actually better than the, the trusty elves. And if it's not, we'll go back to rim brakes and uh, the old setup. And if it is better, then we'll keep it. So anyway, I reckon first choice, secondhand S-Works Tarmac SL7. Pretty outrageous. Uh, 38 centimeter handlebars, which is good. Handlebars are a big issue for me because a lot of them just don't fit me properly. Um, it's got some okay wheels, like not unreal. Probably would buy new ones, but it's on the cheaper end. So I could sell my, sell some stuff and probably buy um, some wheels for it. Seven kilos, so pretty light. I mean, it's definitely a good bike. Looks pretty outrageous. So yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Would need a power meter, so would need some spending money on it. Um, but six and a half K, it wouldn't be too bad. Next up is the Focus Zalco Max. Now, this is an interesting proposition, mainly because it's kind of a rogue one. Ultegra DI2 12 speed, so that's that's nice. 12 speed would be good. Uh, in terms of like brakes, or, uh, sorry, in terms of wheels, they're kind of just like standard, like nothing crazy. DT Swiss, 48 mil. Like you probably just would sell them and get some deeper wheels because 48 is just pointless. Uh, handlebar is kind of annoying because it's like, I think you can use any handlebars though, but those are 40. So we'd have to change handlebars, but, uh, and probably stem because I would not want a 90 millimeter stem. I probably want a 120. Um, but yeah, so a decent bike actually. And altogether, this is definitely an option that I uh, would would think about. Next up is a Super 6 Evo. Uh, this is, sorry, this is the actual one I'd buy. 6,300 pounds, Ultegra Di2, which is decent. Got some okay wheels, some 45 mil wheels. So like not great, but not horrendous. Again, like, Similar build to this, to be honest. But is Cannondale, is Cannondale good? I don't know. Handlebars can be easily swapped out to a 38, so that is good. Uh, so yeah, the front end is quite decent. And I guess the thing I'm looking for is kind of like an aero or... An aero bike or a kind of like close to being aero. And you might say that's not too aero, but it is lightish. Because the other option is this, like a Super 6 high mod. Um, there's one in my frame size, I think. Like this one is 51, 6.8k. Like this is pretty decent. Ultegra Di2 again, 64 mil wheels, but I've heard it could be like eight and a half kilos. And you might say, Charlie, weight doesn't matter. It's like, yeah, it doesn't, but I'm going to be doing quite a lot of hilly races this year. Like if I was in the UK exclusively, for sure I'd get this or something similar. But with hilly races and being a small person, like those extra two kilos or kilo really, really do add on. The next option is kind of the Rogus, which would be an S5. Now S5s would be a ball eight because the handlebar is a massive if you're traveling and to like change, it would have DI2, not force. I can't hack SRAM anymore. It just breaks. I just, I just can't deal with it. So yeah, that's kind of the other options. The other option that is kind of like really maybe the, the one that if I couldn't do anything else would be a factor. And I kind of message factor be like, you like you want to set me up um a while ago because I was kind of thinking about maybe changing bikes. And anyway, they're just a bit too expensive. Uh, They're like 8K and like not really with... Not really with anything, like, look, 8.7k, like, yeah, it's a nice bike, and it comes with good wheels, but it's kind of a bit too much for me, I, I don't think I really want to spend that much money on a bicycle, um, I think if I, if the money comes through, I think this is probably what I'll go for, but if you have any other alternatives, or, you know, ideas that I could go for, let me know, um, but yeah, anyway, cheers for watching, hope you enjoy this quick video, and I'll see you in the next one.